Beaverworks Diecast Racing, your source for diecast racing action. Welcome back, humans, and all you beaver lovers out there. We are at the bottom of the main track, still bringing you the main track testing. We just had two cars go. We got two more tonight. All right, it's Beaverworks Diecast Racing and the Igloo Proving Grounds. Igloo Main Track Testing Series, and we are moving on with the next two cars. We're going to show off how we can get different types of wheel setups to handle the main track because it's steep. All coming up on Beaverworks Diecast Racing. Thank you very much for coming back and checking out our stuff again, folks. We had some great competition in the last race with the beautiful M2 machine jewelry cars with the stock straight joint axles and the coated wheels. Chevy versus Ford, and it was the fair lane that came out on top. We're going to go up to the top of the mountain. Let Lance and Lester tell you what's going on tonight. How's it going, everybody? Lance here with Lester, and the next class of vehicle we have for the Igloo Proving Grounds, this is the Wheel Swap Jewelry Car Class, so you can change the wheels out on these ones. And the race shop did an excellent job on this 1970 Challenger from the movie Vanishing Point, like it's one of my favorite movies ever, and this car is amazing for the details. It looks amazing. And the other vehicle we have for the Wheel Swap is... Excuse me, do you mind if we have a word? Constable Dudley, always have a moment for the Mounties. What can we do for you? Now, it looks like you have an M2 machine that's so about to challenge green light, and that didn't seem fair, considering that we have green light Caprice Classic that would love to chase, I mean, race that challenger once again. It has the appropriate axle tubes and has been swapped out with matchbox wheels, so it fits the criteria for the race. Oh, we have to do this, no problem. You got a deal, sir, and the movie reference on this is perfect. So there you have it, folks, an all green light jewelry car class race for tonight. Back down to you, voice. Well, that was a twist we weren't expecting there. Going back to the rules for the two-car format at the Igloo Proving Grounds. Two points for the fastest time. One point for getting the longest jump on the jump cam. One point for a flatbed finish. There's four chances for that there. And one point just to finish because this track is steep and kind of hard to get down. All right, let's get up to the top of the mountain. Get this going. Race one. First for the wheel swap green light edition of the jewelry cars, we've got Constable Dudley going up against Kowalski in that Challenger versus the cop car. All right, right out of vantage point, here we go off of race number one, and they are down, they are going, they are hard down first track, sliding around, they are neck and neck coming off the first curve, and it looks like it's gonna be Constable Dudley out the front. Kowalski crapped out at the top of the final stretch, and there's uh, Dudley going for a flatbed, just gets straight between them, gets to the bottom of the track with a 10. 10.99 excellent time there and it looks like Kowalski and the challenger got left at the top of the final stretch looks like he got all sideways there and just looks like he almost tried to cut in and pit that cop car but didn't get the maneuver look at this jump cam shot challenger's coming over with 19.5 Caprice is putting down at 20 what a great shot that was right on top of each other coming through there igloo replay for race Number one, this is the jewelry car class where you can swap the wheels out. Put anything you want underneath there. I believe that uh, Challenger's got the FTEs on it. And that Caprice has got the matchbox wheels right there. Challenger's pulling out and then gets a little sideways. Couldn't tell if that uh, Caprice was cutting up into the back quarter of that Challenger. But right there, it looks like Kowalski was going to pay it back and he missed. Dudley is down over top of the line. Great job with that Caprice classic cop car on the first run. Almost gets a flatbed finish, but gets 10.99 and four points. Just short of five. That's the maximum you can get. Gets the series at 1-0. Race two. 
Lane switch time, we've got the cop car on the inside and the challenger on the outside. Dudley and Kowalski going at it, coming down off the first stretch, going into the crash racers corner, and it looks like Kowalski just ditched Dudley off on the top of the mid stretch, didn't make it over top of the uh, jump game, and then Kowalski just slammed right into the side after the line and didn't make it for a flatbed finish. Got over top of the line faster there with a 10.21. That's the fastest time so far. Look at that great looking shot of that car right there. And there's the uh, Caprice all stuck in the rocks at the top of the mid stretch there. There's a solo run for Kowalski coming down over top of the line. So far, it's been a solo run for each of them. We are one race apiece now. Let's go check out the jump cam, see what kind of distance you got on that one. Boom, he's down at 17.5 centimeters for the Challenger on the second race. He was the only one that made it down that time. Let's check out this dirty pool move coming down in the Igloo replay on the second race. There they are off the stretch. Challenger's pulling out front, and it looks like he is definitely pushing Dudley off. He gets into the rocks off to the side and just puts the rest up there. That is all Kowalski out the bottom side making a nice cut through the 3D bot maker corner and Gorno has great speed for the flatbeds but just rams himself into the side and gets no distance out of that. All right, race number two gets all wrapped up with Kowalski making a solo run down there and it's going to be a 10.21 time and four points for that challenger. That makes the series one apiece and we're going to a third. Race three. Kowalski in that challenger had the fastest time, so he gets the lane choice. He's apparently he like slammed that cop car into that guardrail, so he's gonna try again. Here he goes, they're down through the crash racer's corner, and this time Dudley made it out in front, and he's still holding on to it. And it looks like Dudley just crashed Kowalski off into the side, and he's gonna make it with 11.58. There's Kowalski coming up and flipping it onto his lid right there at the end of that race, right beside the cop car. That's just like giving himself up. To the Mounties because apparently they always get their men as we say up here folks and there it is over top of the line from the bottom up cam that looked just like revenge from the last race jump cam we got the Caprice coming down 19.5 centimeters and then Kowalski bringing it in 17.5 in the Challenger neither one of them pulling off the distances from the first round but still they have been fencing with each other all the way through this race now it does bleed off speed checking out the igloo replay coming down through there into the crash racers corner and they're swapping paint and they're rubbing back and forth and they're slipping and sliding there over top of the jump cam i love it you can see that camera shot and they're just saying anyways through the 3d bomb maker corner you can see kowalski coming up on the outside and dudley just cuts him off right at the top of the final stretch just robs him after that corner and then coming down the hill gets a nice jump right there not quite enough for the flatbed and then there's kowalski just rolling it over right there beside him there it is caprice classic and a 10.99 constable dudley and another four points two out of three goes to the classic with eight points there it is folks that green light cop car if you're an next generation like me out there then this is the kind of stuff you ran from when you were in high school all right kids there's that challenger rt from vanishing point beautiful job by green light on that one as well and there's kowalski getting all surrounded by all them mounties all right folks that's wrapping it up for another track testing episode where we got to put the green lights down don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and that super thanks button look at that it's looking at you or you can support the channel with some merch check that out over on the main page all right folks that's wrapping it up for this episode we have got another special one coming for you next time when we're gonna start making cars fly again thanks to all you folks for coming out and checking out our stuff from beaverworks diecast racing we'll see you next time